Right, welcome back everyone. Um, so we've got um, the DWG True View 2018 open. Um, again, as I said, this is a free program that you can download from the Autodesk website and it's quite handy if you just want to open up CAD files or you want to make some slight adjustments. You can't actually use it to the extent that you can use CAD for, but for what we're looking for it to do, um, it, it really does do the job. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up these um, these DXF files that I sent to myself. I've downloaded them, so they're sitting there in my downloads fo uh, file. So just bear with me one second. Um, we'll open these up. And as you can see, here we are. We've got ground floor and first floor. And, you know, for... For what we need them for, I mean, they are relatively good. I mean, obviously, if you're looking for something a little bit sharper, a little bit kind of more detailed, then to be fair, these can be converted to CAD. And if you've got a CAD guy, he can work his magic on them. Um, it really just gives you the basis of a, of a building to be able to create um, proper drawings as such. Um, so one of the issues that we have is that sometimes the orientation can be a little bit off. I mean, as you can see, the X and the Y here aren't in the best place. And obviously the first floor is kind of the wrong way. So we would just need to change the orientation on this, um, on this first floor here, um, which we've done just to really suit the same, because I think we're going to print these out on, on an A1, on an A1 drawing, uh, not A1, sorry, A3, um, just makes it, um, much easier to read but what we want to do is we just want to kind of get rid of these colors and, and kind of make it neutral just makes it easier to print it out and looks a bit better when you're trying to do you work on that so the easiest way to do that is to use um, the layers here and as you can see everything is layered so that's pretty pretty decent um, and what we want to change is the text color the structure and the doors because those are the three three that we've got so we just literally click on the blue there um, we're going to change that to black and granted it does make it very difficult to see on this screen but to be fair the amount of work we're doing in here is very limited so um, we want to do the same in the structure um, click on there and change that to black and finally do that to the doors and change that to black and there you go want to do the same here with the first floor so we're just going to go and change the structure to black and we're going to change the door color to black just to make it nice and um, straightforward. And then text will change to black. And that's really all you need to do on these drawings within this program. Um, so we, we now need to print them out. And, and it is relatively straightforward from here. So we just go here to, um, to the plot button. Um, and I, I use this quite a lot. So I've got a lot of previous plots. But I find that the best... Um, printer to use is this one here which comes automatically installed you want to set your paper size um, in this case we're going for a3 and we want it on a landscape and then it asks you what do you want to plot and there, there are a number of options here but the best one to use is windows because it allows you to set the area that you want to print out so in this case we're going to click on this button here um, which is the windows one and we're just going to set Maybe that's not the best area to do it. Um, we just want to set the area of which we want to print. So we're just a nice area there. And if we go to preview, there you go. It's um, it's a pretty decent drawing. So we're going to click on OK, and we're going to save that under uh, that file name. OK, and then we're going to do the same for the first floor. So we go back to plot. If you click on previous plot, it will always kind of copy the the, 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 the selections you made the, the last time you printed. So in this case, everything is all the same. We just want to go to the window area and we just want to set the area of which we um you know we wanna we wanna print out, which in this case is that particular little part there. Um actually I have just realized something that the orientation on this particular drawing was actually was the right way because we've got a warehouse area here. So um we are going to print it this way because obviously it just makes it a little bit easier um, to, to be able to print it onto A3. So we're just going to set our uh, our area for printing here and go to preview. And there you go. So we want to close that down and we want to go to OK and we want to save that within um, our file. So 
we are pretty much done within um, TrueView. You don't really need to do much more. So um, next program I'm going to show you is just going to be uh, Bluebeam. I'm just going to show you how it looks in Bluebeam. Just a couple of little things you can do in that to make the drawing look a bit a little bit crisper. So um, we shall be back with you shortly. Okay, guys, welcome back. Um, so those of you that have seen um, my first ever um, YouTube video, which is based on Bluebeam and is based on um, scaling and orientation of drawings, then you'll be familiar with this kind of uh, layout. Um, if you haven't seen it, then you'll find that on my YouTube channel. So please take a view, um, have, a, have a watch of it. It's quite interesting and there'll be many more to follow um, in due course. So really just going back to what we've done with Magic Plan, we've obviously been to site, we've done a survey, we've created a drawing, we've opened it up in, um, in True View, we've kind of adjusted the colours and we printed it off. So we now have a PDF. So we're just going to go and open up those two, um, those two drawings. Um, so we're going to start with the ground floor. Um, as you can see, looks relatively quite good. Um, you know, not, not too bad. Somebody's line weights are a little bit heavy. So if you find on a drawing that you've got like line weights that are really heavy, you can go to um, the view menu and you can click on disable line weights um, to kind of reduce um, the weight of the lines. So as you can see the difference when I had them on, um, they're quite heavy. And now I've clicked on disabled line weights. And as you can see, they, they are relatively quite straightforward um, I believe that if you go into the layer menu here you can actually turn the text off so if you find that the text is in a way because you're trying to do a design you want to make sure that all your equipment's visible then you can turn the relevant layers off I mean you can even turn the walls off if you want right so we obviously need to um, scale our drawing we obviously know what the the, um, the width of this door is so what we want to do is we want to go to um, either click on this button here which is the calibrate button or you can click on the icon up here both do the same thing so we're going to click on calibrate and bring us up the crosshair we're going to zoom into this door here and we're going to just measure this from end to end and what it does is it brings up this little box, which unfortunately for some reason you guys can't see. And I think that's just down to the software that I'm using to record this um, this, pro this, uh, this this webcast. Um, so I'm just gonna enter 0 0.9 and then click on apply scale. And as you can see, it's entered the scale in here, which is uh, pretty, um, pretty good. So it means that this drawing is now scaled. And if we just wanted to double check to make sure that the measurements are correct, we can go to uh, the measure tool here um, and just measure the width of this room because we know that we set this at three meters by three. Um, you can see there that my, uh, my tab's just a little bit off. So we just move that up to the edge there. So yeah, it's pretty it's pretty accurate. I mean, it, it probably does have a one or two centimetre tolerance. It's not 100% accurate because obviously it's relying on human um, intervention, the information that you put into it, um, obviously the, the laser measurer. And sometimes um, rooms can be relatively quite difficult to measure. Um, but for providing a basic drawing um, and to give you guys a little bit of support when you're on site doing surveys with no drawings, it's a really good tool and it really will help you. And obviously, you know, from a customer perspective, um, you can use this as a chargeable service. So you could charge a client to go in and create a drawing for them. It really is possible to do that. Um, it's it's a really good a really good tool. Um, just a couple of um, little pointers um, just on Bluebeam here. We're just going to delete that from there. Um, one of the things that uh, you can do is that so this drawing is layered. So if you go to the layer section over here, you can turn the text off um, because you may want a clear drawing, um, which is good. Um, but also, as you can see, these text kind of names and um, and that are um you can click on them and that will cause you a little bit of a problem if you're trying to do a design on here and you find that um, you want to highlight all your icons to create a legend um, it can be very difficult to do that so the easiest way is to go to document and then just click on flatten flatten your drawing and then as you can see they're no longer um, clickable so um, just a little tip there obviously if you haven't already watched it 
um, look at my YouTube channel and and have a, a watch of my uh, Blue Beam Essentials video. Um, the first one's up now. Um, it's a series of, of of around ten videos of various um, little things you can do in Blue Beam, and really to give um, the people that are using it a little bit more um, knowledge on some of the functions that it provides. So you know, go and have a have a have a, a watch of it, and hopefully you'll find that useful. And if you're not using Blue Beam, Go and watch it anyway, because you may find that you might want to get hold of the software after you've watched it. Um, feel free to, to obviously leave me any comments. Um, I will put the Magic Plan um, website address in the um, description of the video. Um, anybody who's got any questions, feel free to send me a message, leave a comment. Um, really appreciate your time watching this video. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Um, those of you that have connected with me on LinkedIn, you know, by all means, please send me a message if you've got any questions. And um, again, thank you very much. Um, look after yourselves, be safe and um, see you on the next video.